Hello and welcome to VaporTech. My name is Ryan Skilton and today I'm doing a continuous flow hydrogenation using a palladium on charcoal slurry and hydrogen gas. I'm going to be using an E-series and I'm using an SF10 as a back pressure regulator. So I've got my reagents and my system solvent ready on the system and I have the slurry ready. I just need to prime the pump. The E-series has push button priming so all I need to do is push the buttons and let it take over. To use the SF10 as a back pressure regulator first I need to put it into regulation mode and then I need to set the pressure that I want to operate at. For this reaction I'm using a 5% palladium on charcoal catalyst which I've made up to 15 milligrams per milliliter in ethyl acetate. I'm keeping it on a stirrer so that it doesn't have the chance to settle. I'm using nitrogen from our inert gas manifold to make sure there's no risk of fire and for this experiment I'm going to be using a 20 milliliter reactor for rapid mixing to make sure that the three phases of this reaction combine properly. Now that the reagents are ready I need to prime the slurry up to the pump. So this E-series is equipped with special slurry manifolds and I'm using larger bore tubing for all of the flow path that the slurry is going to pass through. When using a slurry it's possible to have particle sizes up to 80 micron and I've used loadings of over 100 milligrams per milliliter quite successfully. It's also very important when you're setting up your T-pieces to make sure that the slurry goes through in a straight line and doesn't come in from the side so that it doesn't have to try and change direction which could cause a blockage. Using gases with the E-series is easy. I'm using just a standard hydrogen cylinder and a regulator which is set to 5 bar. The output goes to the inlet of the V3 pumps and I have a detector and alarm for safety. The E-Series is equipped with the patented V3 peristaltic pumps. This is able to pump the gas directly from the inlet line without the need for any mass flow controls. To prevent any backflow, I have a check valve between the system and the pump. So now that everything's ready, we can use the software to design and control the reaction. The control software has the stoichiometry tool, which includes dispersion modeling, which you can use to make sure that you're pumping in enough material to reach the steady state. So now everything's ready, I need to use the solvent to reach the pressure that I want, and then I can start heating. Now that the system's at pressure, I can begin heating. So now the system is at reaction temperature, I can start pumping the slurry and the hydrogen, and when they're combined, I can start adding in the reagent. Now the hydrogen is pumping, and you can see it mixing with the slurry. So now everything's ready, the system's ready to go, and I can start adding in the reagent. Using the reactor for rapid mixing, make sure that this three-phase reaction is mixed thoroughly and make sure that the reaction is able to progress without any mixing problems. Because the SF10 uses the same V3 pump technology, it's able to regulate pressure even though the slurry is present. Here I'm collecting the product and I'm keeping it under nitrogen to make sure that there's no dangerous buildup of hydrogen. 